got ourselves Diabolical over on Team 1, Short and Deadly with the Chief Tier, as well as Volg, the Chill Pills, and the Shadow Priest in a Crucible Arena out of all the places to put you guys in. A lot of you requested how would we do Crucible sometime. Barb gonna be going in over onto the Paladina. We got ourselves in the back. Rosie pouring you guys over. Scarf in there. We got War as well as Business. This man gonna be giving these boys the business as Barb trying to see if you can run around over, over these geometric pillars. Remember how they said that this arena was gonna have a button which is still there in the middle and every time you press it arena walls would shift and adjust and then we're like wait this actually creates a lot of issues we can't do that we're just gonna keep it static we'll go back and fix it eventually I don't think they're ever gonna by the way I think it's gonna be the arena although the idea would have been really really cool big hammer hanging over Diabolical's head why do you keep crying by the way he keeps doing slash cry is it just like a part of your macros or something or is this just like a weak aura just do slash cry for random random reasons what is happening barb taking a bit of damage gonna be diabolical trying to see if he can reposition it's gonna go for the sucky bcc big damage on the barb goes in for a bubble barb not in a, or Daya, not in a great spot when it comes to health does he have any ways out of this one wall is up maybe that'll be enough does get himself a little bit of health with a warlock hellstone last minute as Barb looking for a little bit of the recovery. Though Diabolical not against pushing in. Got him some reflecting kisses a Hodge. Big Case Bolt hits him out of left field with an incinerate to follow. Does go for a blind into the bed for just a second. Does get caught though. And I think of Soul Fire is going to be lights out for our Paladin friend. Oh, he did live for like half a second there for just a moment. Got us a one global to heal, but it just was not enough as the conflagration smacked him right afterwards. Business going to be out here leaping in. Before Daya can make his way all the way to the pillar, and Daya may be looking at potentially readjusting his strategy with the pet that he's running. Cyclone onto the uh, succubus? Wait, does business have that one thing where he can go for like a big old like finish from Mame and put up Dot off of a Cyclone? Because if he does, that'd be huge. Daya is going to swap out the pet to try to see if he can go for an intra pet instead, since the succubus can't really use her succubus seduce ability while they're in a beast form, only while in humanoid. Switching out to the intro pet at least allows you to rip away the hots off of the druid like you're doing right here. A little rune up above. And you can also interrupt them on a cyclone as well or any kind of regrowth healing, which can be useful. The business is going to hang back, going to get himself a cyclone onto the pet. And Dai is going to have to wait over on the other side of the pillar, trying to see if he can avoid the feral. Looks like the eyeball does find the feral before they catch a proper reset. It is going to be full stun on the Daya. It is going to go for the human racial buff, pouring himself out of there as he's trying to go for a bonza fell. Does it a break out of the business? It is going to wall on that one, though. What a wall. Almost like you planned that, you know what? I'm definitely going to take damage from this one. Did reduce it by a lot, but no longer has himself that big defensive. He's going to have to play around with his CC, though. He needs to find a way to lock down Daya, get some damage in. Bash, using more defensively, trying to see if you can leap right over, but any kind of hots you put up on yourself or any healing you do, doesn't even matter though, no health at all, all his hots get the spell stolen by the pet, and does end up going down little by little, with well, War gonna be up next is Warcock. What a name, by the way. Mortal hit immediately. Got himself a dart pack to tank up these scales bolts with a wall on top of it. This is him at his sturdiest. He's taking hits back to back. Barely notices it. Barely feels it. It is going to be a, a, a eye of kill rock to resummon the pet back over. I wonder if Daya is going to switch out the pets and switch out the intro pet for a succubus because that is going to allow you a bit extra control. You won't be able to really stop the castle war. But that extra succubus could be nice, I would say, if he gets hit with the fear. Succubus can then control war, stop him from doing stuff. That could also be good. Trying to see if he can port war over to his side of the arena, though. It's going to open up portals on him, but immediately you've got to be a mortal call as war. Recovering back all the way back to his side of the arena, using the gateway in order to close that gap. It's going to get himself a little bit of free damage onto both the pet as well as the summon infernal. Quick interrupt onto the chaos bolt. But now Daya does not have an aggressive intro that he could use right now. Mortal Call into War though to CC him for just a second with a Soul Fire. Trying to see if he can break past the defense. But he does break out of the Mortal Call last second in order to get a quick intro on the Daya. Looking for a Chaos Bolt as well. Gonna be stunned on a Daya with a big old Dark Glare join in. So War right now is actually supported. If he plays out in the open with the Dark Glare, Daya will be limited on the amount of cast he can really do. But that Soul Fire away from the pet is going to be a quick Soul Stone just to get himself, or Health Stone just to recover a lot of the health to get with Soul Burn just to give himself a bit of more longevity. But it just gets burned away through those incinerations. War with a quick stun, Chaos Bolt. The pet is going to stun you. Try not to stun it. Trying to get stunned. Fear onto Daya. Mortal Call to follow. One more Chaos Bolt. Daya takes a little bit of damage. Got him to reflect. And this is where War cannot really go super aggressive. 
is not in a great spot barely any health trying to go for a few into the bed all he can really do is drain life of this one but the man is literally la last standing on his one little bony leg he doesn't even have much to work with here drain life more to call i think it's just over he got himself last minute trinket but i think it's just done right one little global even a sneeze in this man's direction you're just gonna be the end of you does go for the intro. Won't even let him get even the smidge of drain life recovery off of the pet. Are you kidding me? I just need some one global. Not even conflagration, apparently, enough to do it, though. What is this? What is happening? Does drop down the dark light. That thing is searching around for a target. Can only do so much, though. If War somehow survives this, by the way, that's going to be a miracle. That's going to be incredible. Open up a portal. <laughs> just walk by, drop the portal, run in away. As Rose is going to be up next, stun in middle and Daya with a Harpoon to follow. Going in for a big charge with that coordinated assault. That is some coordination between him and the pet. Goes in for a trinket as a mortal cost maxim right in the face. Daya is looking to back the hell out of there. Did swap out to a succubus to establish a little bit extra CC onto Rosie. If you pay attention to the succubus with the uh, freezing traps and whatnot, if you're watching that thing, if the hunter CC is the succubus, you know he's going to be trying to see if he can skulk over to you. Going to be able to summon a fresh new Saiya. Traps are going down on this side of the pillar. And Diabolical's got himself a decent setup here right now. The, uh, the, the Succubus does get trapped up. But it's also going to be the pet taunting the Succubus the entire time. Which is going to be huge for the Hunter. Massive explosive one Diabolical trying to give himself a bit more health to work with. But it's going to be a quick faint death for the Hunter. Just needs one more kill shot. Succubus catches him. So far, maybe this turns it around. Hold on a second. Big damage out of the Warlock. But it's a kill shot. But Rosie is going to be enough. Got himself a little bit of health last second. And is able to get himself one little victory at the end. But the, hunt, but the rogue is just not going to let you play at all. For Scarflex, it's the last one left, ma'am. Last Wait, that's Flex. I just realized it. Scarflex. I just realized it's Flex. <laughs> Honestly, I was going to say, like, where's Flex and the Hunter? But that's the guy. That's the boy. Cheap shot out of the rogue immediately with a trinket. Darkness down to try to see if he can remove Sacred Technique out of the equation. To try to see if we can avoid it. Gouge by the rogue does get super low on health. Cloak and shadows to try to give him recovery. As Flex looking out for the skulking bandit. Actually, is right next to him. I don't even know if you realize that he's next to the guy. That sigil, if it was only a hair to the left, might have actually been huge. Trying to see if he can maybe AOE the rogue out. It's going to be a shadow strike, kidney shot right after. Perfect opportunity for Tyr to have a go. Does he have technique on top of this one? Got to be the cloak. Emergency shielding for a scar. As he does get himself a stun. Big hunt. Maybe big damage. Trying to see if he can make a play. De uh, demon form right after. Big blade dance to follow. I beam and Tyr is taking a lot of damage. And scar is looking for a lot of the recovery though. As long as you can do damage before the rogue goes in for full kidney shot, you might be fine. Because that is a full GR and stuns. Still big damage out of the rogue though. Do you still live this though? Could be anyone's game right now. It does go in for the blade dance at the very tail end. And the chief. I don't think he's going to let you recover at all. I think that's all you can do. Just maybe attack the pets or just give up. I don't know how you can recover. I wish him another side a little bit more recovery. Similar to like Warriors, man. You know what I mean? Just something, anything. Does get himself a demon summon. As well as demonic soul you can pick up. If you can get yourself I-Beam and pick up that soul, that is going to give you a little bit of extra health to work with. I think that was a, one of the souls picked up just now. So maybe if you can pick up a couple more, you might be okay. Has to play around his cooldowns right now. Every time he gives himself Metamorphosis, is when he gives himself a pretty big leech buff in order to at least start clawing back some of the health from the enemy. Chief does not want to let you out of his sight at all. Knocking it out in the open with a slow. Going to be that I beam. Gives you an opportunity to have a go. Big damage into Chief. It's going to be huge burst. Stun as soon as you see burst out of Chief. This is where Scar is going to go in for a bit of damage. Hit and run. Get there. Stun the Shaman. I beam him. Catch up a little. Do a little bit of damage. Catch up a little bit. Leech healing. And then back away safely. It's going to get himself another demon spawning into it. If you can combine it together with an I beam though. That's going to be huge. Doesn't I'm slaying the demon. Looking to maybe make some damage happen. Picking up a demonic soul gives him a little bit of health to work with. But Lassa is going to stop you in your tracks. Scar looking for the mobility though. Does he get it? He's trying. But these totems, the slow from the totems and the roots as well, are not going to feel great at all. It's going to be a knockback as the i beam comes out. Perfect opportunity to make some damage happen. Wall out for war chief. But Scar at least got himself a bit of that burst. A little bit of the leash. Got himself big glaive getting thrown around for a lot of that dot damage. With a hunt on top of it. I think this way you just commit the damage, right? You also got a demon that you can slay in order to give yourself a little bit more damage as well. As a demon soul for a bit more uh, healing. Into a quick imprison. Into a misery. But doesn't quite connect. Because I guess it was not written by imprison. Or in prison rather makes him immune to external effects while it's up, which is unfortunate. 
Last to follow. Chief is still in a decent spot, man. I think he's still got himself Warlock Hellstone, got himself a Trinket, as well as a Panda Rachel, got himself full Bloodlust. Could be an opportunity with a Burrow down. That's going to be a lot of damage onto the Demon Hunter. I to follow. Got himself Big Cleave. Sunder right after. Oh, it does go in with a Sunder. Knock up Sunder into a Storm Strike over in this guy's back, man. That is unfortunate. I was here to the Dia did pick up three. I didn't even realize that I picked up three. That's quite a bit, actually. He didn't fight a paladin and then he fought another warlock. What else did he fight? What paladin fought warlock for uh, Feraldrin, I think it was? I think so. Let's get us another going, boys, yeah?